Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Rocket Slime! Woohoo! So we went to the Tomb of Tutenschleimen last time, and we got ourselves a freaking tank. And yeah, we get to use our tank to blow up other tanks now. Did did choose some strong ammo and rescue Huli from the Tomb of Tutenschleimen. Alright, we're going back today, everybody. Yeah, we're, we could go back to the Fortwood Forest, but it's better to go back to the Second World. Because you do want to rescue Huli. Because once we do, something really good happens. Alright. Just pick up our stuff, because we might as well, right? Also, the level will have changed slightly, because we... Because the sandcastle turned into the Schliemann tank, we actually are going to see this next room up ahead is going to be looking a bit different. But first, obelisks. Alright, several things collected later. Yeah, this place looks different because our tank moved out. Oh, hey, man! Hola! You are here, eh, little spineless one? I have all your amigos all boxed up. You want them back? You gotta fight me first, chico. Okay. That was a cacti ball. They're like prickly pears that are living. So, yeah. Because the sandcastle got turned into the tank and then we drove it away... This whole area looks quite a bit different. We've got to jump up here. We've left our tank tread, tank treads back down here, and that was the slime chest that we opened up in the upper left-hand corner. So if you didn't open it up earlier, no worries, it'll still appear here now. But you can get it earlier, and I actually never knew that before now. So I'm gonna look at the map. All right. Yeah. So we gotta go this way now if we want to progress. So we've got a bullet in our hands. If we can get the rail cart system working, we might be able to blow some stuff up. It doesn't look like it's in commission, though, right now. Huh. That's a little sad. Let's see what's happening up here, then. Actually, wait a second. According to the map, there's a... According to the map, there should be a cannon right here, but there's no cannon right there. And we can't go up because that sand sculpture's in the way. Alright, so I guess we are going this way. Alright, an official rail cart at last. Nice. Hey you, what's up? It's Gulia! Be really careful by the rapids over there. The water's flowing too fast to cross. I tell you what to, would totally work? Try an Elastoblast. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said last episode. Oh yes, in Flanten, I didn't get you. I can transmit special waves from my head, you know? That means I can help you set up DS wireless communications with your friends. Just come and find me when you want to give it a try. <gasps> yes! Core blimey! You've laid your hands on an oaken club! That's a really good piece of ammo for early game. Have you ever seen, like, iron balls or arrows with numbers written on them? Try putting three items with the same number on your head at once. It's totally awesome. Your busy bowstring will we have you boasting. You walk away with a wooden arrow. So yeah, that's got a one on top. Basically, if you put three types of ammo that all have a one on them at the, uh, on your head at once, it'll turn into a level two of that one. So if you have three wooden arrows on your head, it'll turn into the next most powerful uh, arrow. Just something to uh, think about. All right, blast a blast up there. Pretty easy. Got a cannon there. I'm gonna go up here. Special hidden screen. Right. Oh shoot! That was a close one. Who's in here? Ooh, a spotted slime. Poxy. Shoot! I'm glad to be out of there. Now, let's. Here's a tip that may come in handy. Did you see the card on the way here? The one you can push by yourself? 
Try pushing it into the rapids. It'll get swept over to the other side. Good to know. So yeah, if you're in need of rock bombs, this is a pretty good screen to get them on. Dear, dear Mother Glucurier, if only you weren't a nun. Oops, wait a minute. This was meant to be a letter to Rocket. Okay, man. Thanks for the arrow. Uh, I will not question your crush on Mother Glucurier. Alright. So yeah, we can push this cannon over here. And just like magic, the rapids will take it across to this side. And now we can keep pushing it along if we want to. So let's grab this. If we move the cannon down here, let's try shooting something out of it. And we can destroy that sculpture and get a new chest. It's Bunny, the jumping slime. Thanks for saving me, Rocket. I can't wait to jump around town again. Okay. That's nice. Let's go up here, I guess. Oh boy, it's another tank battle. Ha! Looks like you f Wait. Okay, Feathers has got to be the two-tailed body bug. Yeah. Uh, I didn't mention it before, but so, uh, the number of tails on an enemy determines how high their rank is. So, the common enemies you'll find in the game all have one tail. Then guys like these who are the tank commanders have two tails, and they'll be a different color. So that's the two-tailed potty punk, and they're orange. Like, <laughs> uh, so let's see. Ha! Looks like you fell for my little trick, huh? Me and my tank are gonna send you splattering into Kingdom Come! Uh, I don't think so. We'll blow on the warrior food and summon the Schleeman tank. Also, when you enter a tank battle like this, everything that's on your head will get teleported back to town, which is kind of nice. So you no need to find a railway for them. Hey, what's a dull brain like you doing with a tank like that? Huh, not that it'll make any difference. You don't stand a chance, Pipsqueak. It's the Schleeman tank, the hero rides again, versus the Platy Panzer. Unbelievable. Love these puns. And he's actually got that cacti ball working on his tank team. But luckily for us, we've got the better ammo, because I added Oracle Cum, Obelisks, and Rock Bombs to my tank. None of this boulder nonsense. So, like I said, they, they can only carry one thing on their head at a time, so they're going to be firing more slowly. And you just saw the problem with putting all these fragile pieces of ammo in your tank. It's hard to put them all on your head at once. Ooh, my oracle gum, yes please. Oh yeah, rock bombs don't ricochet off the wall. Forgot about that. Well, the nice thing is if the Oracolcum hits, which it did, they're basically already dead. Holy macaroni, we took a lot of damage there. Our HP ain't looking too healthy here. Alright, so one of these pieces of ammo is going to hit them. So now I'll show off something else you can do. You can throw yourself into the cannon. And as you can see on the top screen, I've got a little picture of Rocket that's flying over to their uh, tank. If you hit their tank, uh then you will basically get teleported inside it. However, they shot a piece of ammo at me, so I took a bit of damage and just flew down here. You do not want to run out of HP in an, uh, a tank battle. If you do, it's game over. Go to their engine, and let's blow them up. And just like that, tank battle over. These are really easy, but also really fun. Also now, every time we beat- well, pretty much every time you beat a tank battle, you're gonna get a special item as a reward, so we get a Cinder Block! It's Curate Rollo. <laughs> Rocket, so it was you battling to save me, was it? Dear Goddess, thank you for sending this brave young hero to rescue me. That guy looks like Bob the Builder. Like, he's got the Builder hat. I'll be seeing you in church then, I trust. Hmm, Rocket? Everyone in uh, Rocket Slime is Christian, right? Ugh, you sure are strong for a slime. 
The cacti ball ran off. We're going after him again. Curate Rollo. It seems the goddess has deemed you the chosen hero, Rocket. Please use this divine treasure to aid you in your quest. Oh, yes! That's a good piece of ammo. A sprinkle a day keeps the zombies at bay. You happen upon some holy water. Holy water, don't... Don't underestimate it. It's a pretty good piece of ammo. Hey, bunny, what's up? I have a tip that might be useful to you. Some iron balls and arrows have one written on them, right? If you put three on your head at once, they'll turn into something really strong. But the ones that say three on them don't change, so don't waste your time trying. It's another wooden arrow. I don't even really like wooden arrows. They are not very good pieces of ammo, but they will come in handy a bit later in the game. After a world free. Alright, where'd that cacti ball run off to? I would love to know. Excuse me. Had to sneeze there. Alright, he's going this way now. And all of a sudden, now the rail carts are working as uh, they were supposed to. Cool. Oh wait, there's nothing that way. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Alright, first fiends first. So we've got a bunch of sand sculptures to destroy. We'll destroy the one we're supposed to first. That'll disappear. Oh, I thought it would... Nope, never mind. Alright, now we'll destroy this one. Then finally we'll destroy the one with the chest on top of it. I'm pretty sure that chest will have a seed of life inside. But you never know. Ooh, and now it's nighttime? Oh, never mind, just money. When it's nighttime, some enemies will uh, spawn that don't spawn in the daytime. We might get into that a bit later. But anyhow, let's go over here because there's another tank battle for us. It's a two tailed pixie, Pickles. So you're the flute warrior with the Schleeman tank, Slimy Wimey. Well, now you're gonna have to take on my short shooter, and it's meaner than it looks. Yeah, we wanna blow on the warrior flute. So this is the Schleeman tank? Well, I ain't gonna let you beat me, no siree. So we got two pixies in the short shooter! Size isn't everything. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> it's like a little demon guy with a bow as a tank. That's interesting. 70 HP! Oh, please. Don't let the name short shooter fool you, slimy. Yep, I think I'll start off the lower cannon. So they'll only shoot out of one cannon at a time, so they just said they're going to do the lower cannon. So if we go out the upper cannon, we're pretty much guaranteed to hit them. But at the same time, if we go out the lower cannon, we can stop them from hitting us. Wow, they just threw themselves out of the tank. Interesting strategy there, son. So if they get into our tank, it's actually not that big of a deal. It's, it's almost nice because they don't mess things up all that bad. And that means they can't shoot out of their own tank. So yeah, he just fell into my tank. I'm just going to fire him right on back into there. So now that he just said he's going to switch to the upper cannon... Honestly, he's basically going to be dead after this, though. After this onslaught. Actually, I think he will be dead after this onslaught. Alright, now he's going back to the lower cannon. Uh-oh, my tank's in big trouble! Yes, it is. Oh, his tank is crying now that it's been blown up. Also, when their tank's HP is at zero and you shoot into their tank, then 
you'll instantly be teleported in, whereas if they have HP left, it'll you'll have a little animation of going in that takes a while. And I love the arrow pattern on the floor here. It's really cool. Every enemy's tank looks a bit different on the inside. Some of them actually have big important differences, which we'll get into a bit later. But for the right for right now, just every tank is the same. When there's a tank that differs drastically from other tanks, I will point it out. And that's another tank battle one. Nice. And we get a boomerang. That kind of sucks, but it'll be, it'll be useful later. It's oh, it's Winkles the shell slime. Jeez, thanks, Rocket. I was starting to lose my sliminess in there. I'm gonna dive straight into the water when I get back to town. Can you give me a ride, mate? The boss is gonna be real mad at little old Pickles this time. Yeah, I don't care, Pickles. I really don't. You beauty, I've been back in the water again since you got me out of that box. You should take a dip in some time, me too. It's lovely and cold, mate. Another wooden arrow. I don't even like wooden arrows. Well, these guys are sleeping, so we, I mean, we might as well pick them up. Throw them on a cart. With a treasure chest. Might as well. Every little bit helps. So we got a mimic here. Yeah, I want to take you back. I'll throw you on that cart with all the others. Oh, yep! This is an enemy that only appears at night. This is the ghost. Collecting them can be a bit of a pain, because, again, they only spawn at night. So, if you see one, pick it up and throw it on a cart, for Pete's sake. Alright, you're gonna run upwards now. Okay. Oh, wow! The pixie picked up a chest. That's interesting. Hey, Goodif! Hey, Rocket! Did you know you can, like, fire yourself from a cannon? It's so cool! Just jump in and enjoy the ride. You can travel real far sometimes. Maybe that'll help you out on your quest, huh? Thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Also, the ghosts will only appear when you get close to them. So that's something to keep in mind. Thanks so much for rescuing me, and now I can get back to my chef's training. I've had, like, zillions of ideas for different recipes. People are gonna love them. Wow, that sucks. Palm, pa 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 palm we get a pom-pom. Yeah, I can forage those in the forward forest real easily. Please excuse me, I have to itch. Sorry about that. Whoosh! Oh, I didn't point this out. Yeah, there's a wing here. You remember those? They teleport you to different wing spots on the map. So this is close to the beginning, not at the very beginning, though. Nice little shortcut. Wow, the pixie spawned back real fast, didn't he? So let's use this cannon to destroy these sand sculptures in our way. Well, that worked out. And now let's fire it again to get rid of the other sand sculpture. Ah, oh, there we go! There's the chest of the Seed of Life. And the first row of health is complete. Granted, we started with four hearts, so that helps as well. But yeah, as you can see, we've now basically made a loop, because we've been on this side of the map before. I really do recommend picking up as many chests as you can. There's a reason for it. Alright, if we go this way... Okay, we still have a lot of the level unexplored. So we're gonna go back up to where we, uh... In between these two old sand sculptures, we're gonna go upwards. Hey, Desperado! You'd make a pretty good pincushion! Oh, 
it's a two-tailed orange cat. Pyjamas. Like to play cat and mouse, do ya? I'm Pyjamas, one of the plob. I'll be grinning like a Cheshire cat when I take that Shuiman tank of yours. So this is a required tank battle. Perfect! We cats just love to play. Now we'll see if you're a slime or a mouse. Two cats in the persecutor! Look what the cat dragged in. Oh ho ho ho! These puns though. I love it. Ah, uh, you're going down. I've I can effortlessly destroy any tank that I come across. Time to put the cat amongst the slimes. Oh, we'll see about that, won't we? That was a narrow dodge on my part. Oh! What the cat's doing is... The cat is sending his one-tailed cat partner to infiltrate my tank. Jail cats have the special little property that... The door to your tank ain't gonna stop him. They will literally just jump right over it. And as you can see, he's trying to blow up my stuff. Also, in a tank battle, you can't hold on to the enemy for a long period of time. If you hold on to them, if you hold them in your hands for too long, they will actually damage you and knock all of your ammo out. All right, well, he destroyed my door now, so it's malfunctioning and constantly opening and closing. Whatever, see what I care. Also, they are shooting an iron ball at me. Iron balls are very slow, but very powerful. I want to shoot that out of the sky. Honestly, if they screw up my tank, I don't really care. Hey, you! Tell you what I will do, though. Oh, never mind. I destroyed that cat. I am so cruel. Oh, come on. They're almost down. That'll finish him off. Also, the door can close on you, and if it does, you will take damage. So watch, when their HP reaches zero, their door's open for me. Yeah. Holy cow, what are the cats doing to this tank? It's so beaten up. So as you can see here, we got iron balls. If we throw these away and pick up the last iron ball, and stack them all on top of each other, it created a, one, a level 2 iron ball. So that's kind of cool. Also, this cat has more barriers than any other tank we've seen before. And the number of barriers in a tank is dependent on what type of tank it is. So the Persecutor has better defenses than the other tanks we've seen thus far. But yeah, we have not come even close to being in danger of losing our tank. And even if we do, they still have to destroy our engine. So these are pretty easy. Yes, another Oaken Club. Suffering salsa! Me? Defeated? I'm out of here! Can you help me out here? I have something to tell you. <laughs> I love that, thank you. Thank you. Now I will return to town. We can talk again there. I have important data to tell you. Okay. Well, we saved another seven slimes in the Tomb of Tutenschleim, and all that's left are six more. We are close to finishing that world. And we collected a lot of stuff. Follow me to the garage. Oh, his name is Slime Mechanic. I love it. There you are, Rocket. Meet Slime Mechanic. He will be my new apprentice. I am no apprentice. He is an annoying old man, but I hope we can work together. I've asked Slime Mechanic to take care of increasing the tank's HP. It's going to cost you... 
you can supply your own parts, but I have to charge for my time. Let's take a look at your tank. Alright, so this is another place where items can come in handy. In addition to using them as ammo, sometimes you will need am uh, ammo or items, I should say, in order to upgrade your tank's HP. So we have HP up taster, a little HP up, a lot of HP up, and a good revamp. So we'll start with the HP up taster, which only costs 50 gold to do. The Schliemann tank's HP increased by 30. So now we have 130 HP. So this is a nice way of just getting more HP, which will be important later on. There was a cacti ball in the tomb of Tutenschleimann. It was behaving suspiciously. Investigate. Alright. And oh hey, Poxy's in here. You looked lovely today, Mother Gloopierier. It is too soon to visit you again. Oh, Rocket, you weren't listening in just then, were you? Yeah, I absolutely was. Hey, Slime Mechanic. Greetings. You came to increase the Schliemann tank HP. Leave it to me. I will do an excellent job. You wish to increase the tank HP? Yes. So once you've bought an HP up, you can't get it again, which is a bit unfortunate. I never repeat work. Once a job is done, that is the end of it, and no refunds. Alright. Little HP up increases your HP by a small amount. Might give you some peace of mind. Here's the thing. A little HP up and a lot of HP up increase it by the same amount. So here we need 100 gold. We also need three pom-poms and four treasure chests in order to do this. We absolutely have that. Increase this by 30 again. Will you wish to increase it again? Yes. A lot of HP up. Now I understand the Schliemann better. I can do you a lot of HP up. So we need 150 gold, even more expensive, and we need a girder. We got the one girder from that uh, ta um, tank battle. Yeah, tank battle. Are you sure you want me to do this work for you? Leave it to the professionals. I will have it done in no time. The tank's HP increased by 30! So basically, every, every time you beat a world, you will unlock more of these, and each new world's um, HP up bonuses will increase your HP by more. So it starts as 30, the next ones I think will up it by 40 or 50. Then after that, even more. The Schliemann needs a service. I will go over it with my 50-point checklist. So we need 200 gold, two pom-poms, and three cattails. Another reason to forge for items, but not even the most important reason. That still comes to later in the game. Increases by another 30, so we just more than doubled our tank's HP by doing that. Very nice. Thank you for that. Welcome back, Rocket. You may work on whatever you wish. We can change up the ammo. So what I like to do is I like to remove all the ammo and start from scratch. So once again... Oracle come. Alright, we're definitely adding holy water. So girders are like cinder blocks. They deal 10 damage, same as the obelisks. They're better for other things. Boomerangs only deal 3 damage, but that's not the main purpose of the boomerang. What the boomerang does is when you shoot it out of a cannon, it'll, it won't travel in the normal tra trajectory. It'll basically lock onto the nearest piece of enemy ammo and take it out. So it's not good for offense. It's better for defense. I don't really like them, though, so I will not do that. Oak and clubs deal 15 damage. That's a good amount, so I'll put those in the tank. For some reason, holy water deals more damage than a spiked club. Don't know why, though. We're adding in our rock bombs. Then I guess fill the rest with obelisks. I probably am going to regret doing that. Oh, it's catnip, not cattails. I'm probably going to regret doing that, because most of my ammo is breakable at this point. But it's also powerful, so we're going with it. Will there be anything else? No. Alright. Oh, and before I forget, Slime Mechanic sent me a letter. Are you okay out there? Do not allow the plob to defeat you. Oh, we get another girder. I'm not going to bother putting that in. Scrape for the skies! You get a girder. Alright. 
yeah, it damages the same as an obelisk, which is my weakest piece of ammo, so I won't put that in. Ba bam We moved the 15 slime ton iron ball! Now you can get into the palace kitchen! It's at the back of his royal wobbliness' throne room. You should rock on over. Okay. Anybody else in town? Got the pixie, the drakey, and then the slime. Alright. Same old, same old, I guess. Well, I guess we might as well explore the palace more. Alright, that side is still normal. Oh, here's the ghost. Hey, ghost. Ooh, ooh, I'm bored. No one ever gets scared of me here. Yeah, that. I guess that happens. They also can't see you, because it's daytime. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Oh, hey, it's you. You were the one who said you had a bunch of recipes. I made this, like, really yummy dish today with zillions of vegetables from Forward Forest. I call it the Journey of the Green Fiends. What do you think? I reckon it's gonna be, like, a bestseller. Well, if only this was Wonka Vision and I could actually taste it. But alas, I cannot. Wow, is that it? Oh yeah, I didn't rescue them. Well, I rescued seven! Oh, oh, that's right. They're probably all in the church. Oh, here's that guy. You can't beat being in the water, mate. It's relaxing and it gets you nice and clean, too. Alright, well, fair enough. The city is still a dump, though. That's right, yeah, more people in the church now. I always jump when I'm happy, but you have to pray quietly in church. Yeah, they get funny about that. Elastoblasts aren't just about stretching out as far as you can, you know. Now, it's all about, like, timing and how long you stretch, too. I read it in a, I read it in a magazine. Hey, there. May the goddess bless you, Rocket. Thank you for rescuing me. I would offer to record your adventure log, but Mother Gloopirier is in charge of that. So it falls on me to be the one to provide you with the fruits of Eudrasil. Eudrasil leaves and Eudrasil dew can be a great source of strength if you're defeated. But they're incredibly valuable items. You can only carry one of them at a time. Do you need Eudrasil dew or Eudrasil leaf at present? Yeah, let's try it. So yeah, these are two special items. So there's Eudrasil Dew, recovers half of your HP when they fall to zero, every little bit helps, and then Eudrasil Leaves. No need to worry if your HP falls to zero, this will restore them all. I am not at all worried about my HP going to zero, like, ever. But I'll buy a Eudrasil Leaf just in case, because I've got the gold for it. I will donate 500 gold to the church, happily, to get this Eudrasil Leaf. And, as you can see, it appears up at the top screen, between my gold and the number of slimes I have in town. That's kind of cool. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode of Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going back once more to the Tomb of Tutanschleimen. We will be finishing up that world, getting all of the remaining slimes there. And, yeah, we'll finally be rescuing Huli, so it should be pretty nice. Until we meet again, have a great day. And, as always, God bless. <laughs>